Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode one of Lynn's Coffee Corner. So I'm starting a new segment on my channel called Lynn's Coffee Corner and it's just a moment to be able to talk about real life, talk about stuff, and I love coffee. I really do. I am a coffee drinker. Sorry for all you tea lovers out there, but I am a huge coffee drinker and um, I just love sitting down, relaxing, and talking, chit-chatting with my mom, with my dad, over coffee, with my fiancé, David, and, you know, and I found that we can chit-chat about so much over coffee, and some of you guys do the same thing over tea, over anything else, so I'm going to tell you, grab your coffee, grab your tea, pause right now, go get it, and then come back so we can have a little chit-chat in Lynn's Coffee Corner. So as you can see, I am totally comfy, I really am. Like, this is super, super chill. This is how I want it to be. Um, so I'm here in my little um, little nightgown, actually, that my fiance's mom bought me, and it's the cutest thing in the world. It's like a to-do list on the um, actual uh, nightgown, and it says, you know, first up, you know, number one, make wake up, number two, make coffee, then drink coffee, and then make more coffee, because that's just, that's just my life, I told you, I'm a huge coffee drinker. So, we are officially after Christmas, like, Christmas just, it's gone, I don't know about you guys, but Christmas went by so fast, um, it's, it was so much build up to it, and then it was just gone, like, completely and totally gone, from one day to the next, I'm sad, because Christmas is my favorite, favorite holiday, Ever. So, yeah. So what I want to do today on this first episode is, because we're right after Christmas, I figured I want to do like a, not sort of a haul, but like talk about the things that I got, you know, for Christmas. And it's not that I want to show off or anything, it's just I love videos like this. I get all nosy and I like to see what other people um, got for Christmas. And even, um, even at work, I'm like... When I go back to work, because we're still on, like, a holiday vacation, so when I go back to work, I'm going to be like, psst, what'd you get for Christmas? You know? So, I'm really nosy like that, and I and I love chit-chatting about it, sharing the gifts that we got, and it's, and it's more than just that. It's about being with the family, being able to give gifts to my family members. I was glad to make, excuse me. I was glad to make a bunch of my family members happy and just get them things that they wanted, that they needed. Just, it, it was beautiful. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to share with you guys that. So every year, Christmas, I always have this, um, not battle with my, with my fiancé or with my mom or anything. It's more like you get asked that big question, so, what do you want for Christmas? And then you're stuck there going... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and my thing is that um, I never know what to say because I have everything I need. Like, I know this sounds super corny, but I have everything I need. So there, therefore, there's really nothing that I want. So I had to, you know, dig deep down and think really hard. And I finally, ooh, that came up bad. Finally got it. I wanted more perfume, more perfume, so like scents, different uh, name, uh, different name brands and stuff. So I kind of threw out my favorites and um, told my mom, "Okay, I just want perfume. Like, buy me perfume, something that reminds me of you, that reminds me of places that we've gone, or something very memorable scents." And I got a lot of that, uh, so I'm super happy, and I can't wait to show you guys. The first present I got was from my fiance's mom, and she caught on to the whole idea that I wanted fragrances, I wanted perfumes. So she got me this. She got me the Marc Jacobs Daisy um, Eau de Toilette, and it is the pink box here. And it's the cutest thing. It comes with a little itty bitty perfume bottle here, and it comes with like an extra travel size bottle as well. But this smells so good, and I know that every color has a different scent. So this one's the pink one, and it smells so good. It has a slight little floral scent, and I absolutely love this. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm going to soon because I got so many fragrances that I'm just trying every day. I'm trying a different one, so this one, since this is my smallest bottle, um, I'm going to make sure this lasts me a long, long time. And this was the cutest thing ever. I was so happy, so surprised, and she made me work really hard 
to get this gift. She basically did this whole, I think it's called a Russian doll trick, and just took this box, wrapped it, put it in a bag, put that bag in a box, wrapped the box, and then put the box in a bag, and I was like, so every, th every time I was digging and digging, there was like, where is, where is the gift? Where is it? So we were just laughing, having a good time, but this is the cutest little perfume ever. I absolutely love this. It smells amazing. And if you've tried this before, let me know how it smells on you, if it's good. I know on me, it's going to it's gonna smell really good because I like it. Because I know everyone's body chemistry is different and scents react differently to, um, so, to different people. So I absolutely love this. It's the cutest little thing ever. So cute. Since I'm talking about uh, Marc Jacobs, I'm going to go on to the next perfume that I got, and it is the uh, Black Box, and it's still Daisy by Marc Jacobs, and this is the bottle right here. My mom gave this to me. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce, and I wore this one today. So, so good. It has a different scent than the pink one. It really does. It has a very light... Um, it's hard to explain scents. It really is. It's hard to explain. It has a very light scent. Like, it's not so overpowering. The other one, the pink, uh, in a, the little bottle, that has a more of a uh, floral scent, and it is very nice. This one is just, it, it has floral in it, but it's a lot lighter, but it's not so overpowering. But the other one isn't either, so I'm, it's really hard to try to talk about the differences. You have to smell it for yourself and this one smells so good. I wore this one today and it was absolutely amazing. I'm gonna make sure this lasts a very long time. I'm super excited about all the fragrances that I got and I love everyone for it. Everyone knew exactly what I wanted. It was hard to explain what type of scents I liked and I just told them nothing too fruity or like too sweet, nothing too uh, overpowering or musty, like no, um, no pine needle scent or anything like that. I know some people like them, especially like with candles. I, I can't stand those scents at all. So it was... I, I made it very difficult, but um, but they did a really good job, very, very good job in picking the scents for me, and this was really good, and came in this little black box here. Okay, the next fragrance that I got is e, um, Elizabeth Arden of Fifth Avenue, and this smells so good. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of my mom, because... My mom wears this perfume, and it smells absolutely wonderful on her, and I've even, you know, taken a couple of um, spritzes myself, and this just reminds me of her. My grandmother got this for me, and it came in a nice package here. It came in this package with a full-size bottle, a travel-size bottle, and a lotion. Like I said, this reminds me of my mom, because she she's the best. I love my mom so much, and... Um, this perfume just reminds me of her, so I haven't worn it yet, but I know how it smells. It smells amazing. It has, again, a very light scent. No floral scent added to it. It's just very light, very elegant, and every time I smell this, it makes me think of my mom. Okay, so my fiancé got me fragrance as well, and I actually sent him a picture of this one, because I was looking through an Ulta catalog, and they had a section of all of their fragrances, and I smelled this one, and I knew... I thought I wasn't going to get it, because it's, it's pretty expensive. As you can see with the other ones, I the ones that I liked were not super cheap, which is why they stuck to like giving me one <laughs> one fragrance, but I, I, I loved it anyway. I love it. And it is the Coach New York. Oh, my goodness. This one right here is... They're all my favorite. It's hard to pick just one, but this one I was like dying over. And this just smells so good. It really does. It's a huge bottle, and this is by far one of my favorites. That and all and the Marc Jacob ones. Both of those, plus this one, is like the best. I love these scents so much. Like every, they're all very, 
all of the scents are very different, but they all work for me, and I love it. And so I really needed, I seriously needed more, like, actual perfumes. I have tons of body sprays from Bath & Body Works and body lotions, so this year I was like, you know what, I just need more perfume. So I sent him a picture of this one. I'm very subtle with my hints <laughs> during Christmas. I just basically screenshot a picture and say, hey, I really like this. Hint, hint. Christmas present. <laughs> so I absolutely love this one. My absolute favorite. With the other Marc Jacob ones, those are my favorites. I just can't. I can't even. And it came in this box right here. It's a little pink box. It says Coach. And also, with his purchase... I didn't, um, with his purchase, he got it from Macy's, and with the full-size bottle, you got a free tote, which is awesome, so it's like, I love it, it's huge, you can fit so many things in here, like, it's just big, wide, oh, sorry, big, wide, and open, instead of, like, a regular, like, clasp or something, it's magnetic, so it just sticks together. And I love the inside. It's blue. And of course, when I when I open this, he's like, that's good for the movie theater, right? It's like, um, all you think about is the movie theater. <laughs> so it's like the big movie theater bag, right? Uh, where you subtly keep your, you know, not snacks. <laughs> anyway, but came with this tote. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Love it. Black. And it's just very sleek, very nice. And that was just like a bonus on top of that. Something else that my mom got me was from Victoria's Secret. It came in this little bag, and it was this cute little duo spotty spray and um, lotion. Smells so, so good. I was very happy. Absolutely loved it. Cutest thing in the world. It was just a nice little extra, you know, on top of the fragrance, since I was like on a fragrance, you know, um, run or a fragrance, um, what's it called, like a desire for fragrances, so she got me a little, like, Victoria's Secret bag, and I love this because you can use it as a little handbag, like, at least I would, <laughs> so I wouldn't use it for, like, a cosmetic bag because it has the little handle here, I would use this as a little bag if, um, if I needed to, like, go somewhere really quick and just throw a few things in here, it's actually perfect, absolutely perfect. <laughs> Next I have these really cute, very dainty, elegant earrings that my aunt bought me, and this is so pretty. And she put in a nice little like, container, a little box here, and it was the cutest thing. It's sterling silver. I love the shape. They look really pretty on. And in this little bag, it also came with some studs, like stud earrings for my second piercing. And I just thought this was so cute. I wasn't expecting it. When I opened it, I was like, oh, this is, like, amazing. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love this. Trying to see if I remember everything. And again, I apologize for the big mess. Like, this is Christmas mess that I have to sort through. Um, but I wanted to bring everything here, and that way I had it available and disposable to, to me right here so I can show you. And I think that about covers it. It was just, you know, very small with the family. And yeah, I think this about covers everything that I got for Christmas. We always spend Christmas together with the family, and it's it's very sweet. Um, and that's it. That's really all I got for Christmas. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas as well. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Lynn's Coffee Corner. And don't worry, in episode two we'll talk about life and relationships and college and all those different things that I want to add into the coffee corner. So I, I'm going to keep this my coffee corner for now. Um, because it's the best corner I have. So, um, yeah, I think that's a I think that's about good. I think I'm going to use it. Of course, it will not be messy. I promise. It will not be messy. Um, this is all Christmas leftover. I have to, you know how it is. You get all these gifts and you have to throw away the um, containers that it comes in and just keep the product and sort through it and reorganize. And that's how it is for me at the end of every Christmas. So it's quite messy um, right now in this little corner area, but it'll be fixed, I promise. And again, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I am looking forward to the new year, what the new year has. And, you know, I'm going to probably do um, an episode of just New Year's resolutions, things that, you know, that we want to do. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoy um, this 
little coffee session, coffee corner here, and I will see you guys in my next episode or my next video. Alright, bye guys. Mwah.